Well, combat and evacuation training and procedures is what's going on in Afghanistan, but what do we really know about evacuation activities and protecting our critical assets and the strategy here? Our Oh, okay. Our next guest knows plenty about this, and he has also been receiving intel and messages from Americans and Afghan colleagues soon to be stranded in the country. Joining us now is former U.S. Air Force Brigadier General and C-17 Commander Blaine Holt. General Wake, welcome to Wake Up America, and thank you for your service to the country. Thank you very much for that, and it's a pleasure to be here with you both. Sir, what are you hearing from people on the ground in Afghanistan about the real situation there? Well, I can certainly uh, parallel what the two congressmen have said. Um, the uh, situation is dire. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's been a desperate situation since we first started hearing about this. Um, but, it, but it seems that these coming hours are going to be absolutely critical to getting out as many people as we can. Um, you know, my, my heart goes to the crews that I'm hearing from and the folks on the ground that I'm hearing from, because while I think most veterans and most national security uh, practitioners would look at this and say, this is awful, and we can all agree on that. What we should never lose sight of is, is that right now in harm's way, we've got brave men and women trained very well to do the very best that they can in a very dynamic situation sure. where there's really no hard and fast rules. General, do you agree with President Biden's decision to stick to the August 31st deadline? Um, because a lot of people are saying, we're not going to be able to get everyone out by then. Yeah, so I'm not I'm not sitting in the intelligence realm that uh, President Biden is. So it, I would be ill prepared to say whether I agree or disagree. Um, I can tell you that the along the path to this place, there certainly were many options to be considered, and I'm certain that there's a lot of advice uh, coming from the Pentagon to the White House every step of the way, and and how they're working together. I really can't say. What I can say. Is, is that this is just about as bad as it can get. It is as bad as it can get uh, for our forces in the danger that they face and for the, for the danger that our Afghan friends and our Americans uh, face in, in the international community. General Holt, do, do you feel, based on what you've heard from the president and what you know, and you've certainly you've been talking to a lot of people about this, do you feel that ISIS and the Taliban, ISIS-K and the Taliban, are, are actually dictating the strategy here, not necessarily our operational objectives? They certainly have the initiative, but they're, they're in the position of power that they have now. It's not that that happened overnight, and it's not that uh, all of a sudden we woke up and, and they're in they're in charge of the country. Uh, this, there is a path that gets us here. Uh, and so right now, I believe our leaders, our military leaders, our civilian leaders are working with the situation they have right this second, the tactical situation on the ground. Um, but but this, doesn't, this doesn't happen overnight. General, what's next for the U.S.? Now we have the Taliban in charge, especially since we'll no longer have troops on the ground in Afghanistan. And, you know, there's talk about ISIS-K. There's talk about al-Qaeda. You know, we have September 11th coming up. There's so much, you know, that I think Americans are concerned about, especially what's happened over the last few weeks. Yeah, so this is a layered, this is a layered set of perils that the United States faces now. We, you know, our focus right now, this second, is this incredible crisis that our 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 people are dealing with and the world is dealing with. But as the days go forward, um, you know, just just like after the Vietnam War, we're going to find many, many different geopolitical realities that we live in, whether that's terrorism around the world uh, or or where our geopolitical position is in the world and, and, and how we work with our allies and partners going forward. We're, we're going to see our diplomats have to dig in and, and really work these relationships very hard in light of what's happened. We're going to uh, we're going to have to work uh, on on a on a mill to mill basis to ensure that we're all in the global community working to combat terrorism. Yeah, absolutely. Well, General Blaine Holt, we thank you for your time and your expertise today. And again, we thank you for your service. Please join us again well, soon. I really appreciate spending some time with you. I will tell you, there's 17 million vets that are watching this. Uh, and, and looking at this from the service that they had in Afghanistan, we formed a group called Restore Liberty, and we will all meet up in D.C. on the 7th of October to reaffirm our oath and let the nation know that our oath has no expiration. God bless our yeah. troops. Yeah, we, we'd love to hear more about that. We hope you, you come back on soon. We appreciate it. Thank you all for your time. Okay. 
Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.